Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's update our view on the gold market. So the pounds that we discussed in the previous couple of sessions now stands on the way. Once market has touched the confluence support, this pullback started. And actually today uh, you could see some slowdown on the action on the euro currency. Some background exists for the pullback on the dollar indexes. We suggest that it might form the hand and shoulders pattern, which is uh, in the short term within a few sessions, some weakness in the dollar could happen which could let gold climb slightly higher. And uh, here we are mostly watching for the primary scenario with this huge engulfing pattern. We suggest that this will be some pullback and potentially it might be some kind of the ABCD pattern to the downside, a bit deep retracement. At the same time, in recent, uh, well, probably few weeks, gold has become the most unpredictable market, it's bringing surprises every time. And if this kind of the extreme behavior was possible. I do not see the reasons why we should deny the another possible extreme behavior if we get here the grubber. Because appearing of the grubber, at least nominally, from the theoretical point of view, suggests taking out of the stop. It not necessarily should be very fast in the same manner as this one, but it just put the background for a possible upward continuation, upward action, if of course it will work. So, uh, and currently, I already have shown you the chart on the COMEX exchange and today I will show you it again. Take a look, market is flirting with the MACD. So on the retail broker charts, if we take a look, for example, on the fixed choices in, 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 my, in my situation, uh, this price action stands already behind the MACD. But in reality, if you take a look at the futures market, you could see that market is just start flirting with the MACD. And if it will close above this area, particularly speaking 2049, you could see this number in this uh, marking. So to, for today, MACD is 2049. If it will close above it, we will get the bullish grabber. So that's the point that to keep an eye on. On a lower time frame, it's also a few moments, but it's mostly will be interesting for those who trade on the intraday charts. First of all, on the fall time frame chart, we've got no bearish grubber that we uh, talked about yesterday. So here's market just close above the MACD. From that standpoint, this problem has been eliminated or better to say had not been formed. So market just retest this previous lows, uh, sorry, previous top and start our prediction. Here you could recognize the kind of the ABCD performance. So if market hasn't become really successful with the hand and shoulders that we discussed recently, because with this performance is definitely not the shorter. But instead of that, it could form some different uh, shape. In particular speaking, it might be the ABCD. I just draw it in the shape of the butterfly as well, because you could see that the targets of the butterfly, it's 127 stands 2049, 1618 stands 2060. It, it agrees with the inner ABCD pattern, OP stands. 2046, just $3 different here. XLP stand 2062, just $2 different. Of course, this level seems most interesting. I already mentioned it. 2060, very sweet level in terms of the confluence, the butterfly target, XLP target. It's suitable, very uh, good to possible points for potential continuation with this momentum that we have to the downside. But let's see what will happen. It seems that the major role uh, will be played by payrolls report tomorrow. So this probably will become the major driving factor if numbers will be slightly below the expectations. Easily could happen that gold could jump a bit and touch this level. So just keep watching. So if you would like to take the long position here, scalp long position, just use this ABCD, this butterfly shape for positioning. Uh, Personally, I do not want to take the long position here. For me, it's more important um, this kind of action and get the right point for possible taking the short position because this is our primary object and we mostly discuss the weekly time frame. Oh, sorry, daily time frame. But scalp traders, well, at least if you uh, do not want to buy, 
and try to not take the short position immediately right there. So just wait a bit and see what will happen.